Mr. Speaker, you mentioned race earlier uh, being inescapable. Do you believe that being gay, that 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 uh, people choose to be gay? I believe it's a combination of genetics and, and environment. I think, and I, I think that the both are both are involved. But I think people have many ranges of choices. And part of the question is, do you want a society which has a bias in one direction or another? So, people then can choose one way or the other. I, th I think people have a significant range of choice within a genetic pattern. I don't. I don't think there's. I don't believe in genetic determinism. And I don't think there's any great evidence of genetic determinism. There, there are propensities. Are you more likely to do this or more likely to do that? But that doesn't mean it's definitional. So a person can then choose to be person, straight? Well, look, pe people choose to be celibate. People choose many things in life. There, you know, there's a bias in favor of non-celibacy. It's part of how the species re recreates. And yet there are a substantial number of people who choose celibacy either out of religious vocation or for other reasons. So gay people should choose celibacy? I didn't say that. I said people have many choices within genetic patterns. It's not, it is not a predetermined either or.